Well, hello guys. Welcome to Vlogmas day. Oh my gosh. Is it day 13? Jeez. And look, my mom came and dropped me off more decorations. <laughs> Those boxes. And look at these, look at this nutcracker. Quite big. I mean, massive. I have another one in the dining room. I'm so excited about him. that guy so tonight I'm going to the I think it's like deck the balls or jingle jam something like that and one Republic is playing and Veronica got us uh, a table so super super kind of her she's friends with the guys from one Republic so um, yeah I'm super excited and I'm super proud of myself because all I did today was edit. So this is the first time I really picked up the camera today uh, because I was just editing, trying to get caught up on everything. So if I come home tonight and edit and get this out, or I'll get it out, for, I guess, tomorrow morning, then I'll be back on a manageable schedule. Thank God. But I'm still doing this. Vlogmas is happening. It's so great. So uh, take you guys with me. Rosie, say hi to the vlog. stuff on 25 um the second song we did though is this one right here and she came into the studio she was smoking a cigarette uh nobody does that anymore nobody does that so it was really interesting <laughs> so she walks in smoking and she's in a, in a mood and if you know anything about the album 21 it's about one guy who sucked so bad that a girl wrote an album and sold 50 million copies of it. That's a true story. This, that's how bad this guy sucked. Um, so all of the songs were like, it was like a raw nerve, a breakup, and she just, every day she walked in, she had something to say. It was amazing. The best thing you could do if we're writing on a Tuesday is get divorced on Monday. And I'm not, I'm not supporting divorce. I'm just saying like, whatever the worst thing is that could happen, that, that raw nerve is what I access and what songwriters need. I need you to walk in with a raw nerve about something. You could be happy and we write Pharrell happy. Or you could be sad and we write this song. So she walks in, she's pissed off, she's smoking. She says, I don't want to do a song today. I'm not really in the mood, I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood, not in the mood. So what, what would happen? Well. I was talking with my friends in Tottenham, in London, and they were saying, oh, do you know what? I heard about you, Adele. Is that rumor has it you've done this? Rumor has it you've been with this person? Rumor has it you were making out with so-and-so? You were hooking up with this person? Rumor has it, rumor has it. I said, okay, let's, let's write, let's do that. Let's write that song. Let's write Rumor Has It. It's an interesting, and I'm looking, you know, her song titles are really weird. They're really cool. Chasing pavements, turning tables, rolling in the deep 
What does any of it mean? I have no idea. But rumor has it, spelled with the U and the O because she's British, um, spelled it correctly. Uh, so she asked me, Dear, like right before the album came out, do you mind if I spell it the proper way? And I was like, uh, no, 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 that's not proper. I'll let you spell it in incorrectly, but I'm fine with it as long as you credit me as the writer. So this is the song we came up with. I did the melody, she did the lyric, most of it, and we just kind of went back and forth. It goes, she, she ain't real. She ain't gonna be able to love you like I will. She is a stranger. You and I have history, or don't you remember? Sure. Three, four, let's go! 